Hello and welcome, this is Mel Skinner, and we're back with some more of the Beast and Exploration DLC for Battle Brothers. Picking up right where we left off in the last video, in the middle of a battle. And I'm going to go ahead and poke this guy, or at least attempt it. Yeah, see that was a mistake uh, when I pushed him off the hill there. <laughs> I actually gave him the opportunity to use his javelins. Okay, here we're going to hold, uh, because we could step forward and attack somebody, and I can't do that right now, so we're going to just hold. Same thing is true kind of here. I'm gonna go ahead and reload and then just move up. All right. You, I'm gonna try and stun. And try and stun again. Because stunning him would be really important. Unfortunately, I didn't get the stun. Okay, I'm gonna move somewhat aggressively in this direction and chop this guy down if I can. All right, let's get up on the hill and hit this guy. Okay, we're done with that at turn. Try and poke this guy to death. Keep going after the guy that has good morale because obviously he can he can act. All right, we made him run away. We still have to deal with this guy. Let's just protect ourselves. Right, I'm just going to move up and kill this guy. Well, or attempt it. <laughs> move here. Back this guy's morale and we'll poke him. Okay, that guy was trying to run and he failed. This guy's just going to step up and try and finish this guy off. Down he goes. Uh, we're going to just step here and fire an arrow at this guy. Not likely going to hit, but hey. Okay, uh, that's it for this turn. Let's keep poking this guy. Good hit. Uh, and turn. You don't really have anything to do at the moment. So just hold your action. Move in here. Okay, he's going to be retreating. So we now need to help out down here. I can't quite get into position to do that. Uh, I could put my dog on him, but I, I think that would be a really big risk. Because the dog may not be able to do a whole lot. So for now, this is just going to be a position move. All right, let's pepper him with arrows. Swing him down on this guy. And what I think of hitting me with that javelin. Okay, again, this is just going to be a move for position. As this is the last guy left, I'm, I'm very surprised his morale is as good as it is. This is kind of getting overkill at this point. Alright, that's all I have enough fatigue to do, so we'll end turn. Move into position. Getting this guy's morale is rock solid. There we go. Affected it a little bit there. And then, uh... We want to get into a position so that we can actually hit him. Within some point. Alright. Poke him again. There he goes. So, we took some damage on a couple of our guys. Uh, the one with the javelin maybe I could have avoided, but... Hey, we got through alright. Good amount of gold. Sadly, no food. But I guess you're not going to see a ton of food at a grave site. Uh, although, I guess they could have carried food, right? Alright. Let's go ahead and get back to town. I'm going to do a little bit of a save here. Uh, real quick. Because I haven't saved in a while. Because I've just been, like, in the middle of battles. And I'm a little concerned if something happens. But uh, I might do that once we get back to town. And get ourselves uh, the job completion. Because likely I'm going to go right into another job here. Okay. They are no longer terrified, which is exactly what we were looking for. Randolph the Wise is talking to some of his men when you return to his room. He parts them and asks you, for the, uh, asks you of the task. 
He reported that it's against safe to bury Erlstadt's loved ones. Randolph the Wise smiles. Good, good, your payment. He snaps his fingers and one of the man, men steps forward, handing you a satchel. There's 307 crown, uh, 370 crowns in it, as promised. Okay, good. And the more important thing is now we should go to the marketplace and be able to buy goods for not ridiculous prices. Hey, you know, honestly, the prices are still fairly ridiculous. But we don't have a choice at this point. We do need food. Uh, I'm just looking at... Yeah, all the goods are being sold for well more than they're worth. The only exception to that is ammunition. It's, I mean, it's being sold for more than it's worth, but it's not that bad. Uh, okay. I mean, no surprise, they manufacture a lot of dyes here, so there's also paints of various types. Common shields and your company's colors. Red paint. Okay. This is used for helmets. Okay. Well, our colors are what? White and... I couldn't tell you what the next color would be. Maybe gold? I'd have to look at our, our standard. Javelins probably are not a good buy here because of the market. But yeah, we have to buy a little bit of food here because otherwise we'll, our men will starve. So uh, let's grab some ground grains. All right. I'm going to take a look at these jobs. Before I do that, let's take a look at leveling my men up. Do we have a level up? Uh, this guy is now uh, feeling better. So we'll have him move into the front. Uh, but we're also... See what we can do with our our man here. So what have we done with you so far? We gave you fast adaptation because that is a, a good a good ability for any use case. Very gen uh, generally good. Let's see what we can get. Again, you're rolling very well on range combat skill. I feel like I have to give that to you. You could be a backup javelin thrower, so wouldn't necessarily be bad for that. You've got good fatigue, so I don't see a reason to level it up, and we didn't roll all that well for that anyway. The resolve's kind of bad, but we didn't roll good on that, so... I'm gonna give you some ranged defense, because that, that that will be useful in general. I'm not sure what to do after that. Uh, I'm tempted to just take the resolve. I mean, we roll well for the initiative, but... That's one of the skills I don't really value all that highly. Yeah, it does have its use. Being able to go first does have its use. But if the enemy holds their action, it actually can be detrimental to you. Because what they'll do is they'll... You'll hold your action, they'll hold their action, and then you are forced to go first if your initiative is higher. So it does have upsides and downsides. The upside is against enemies like the uh, Goblin Wolf Riders... Uh, they tend to have really, really high initiative, so if you don't want them to be able to engage you, uh, because they could also move very far, initiative will matter in that uh, particular circumstance, but that's such a, a you know very particular use case. Another example would be Dire Wolves, I believe, also have very high initiative, so and they can also move very far. So this is one of those uh, circumstances where uh, I'm not really too happy with any of the things we rolled here. I think we take the hit points. It's a decent roll, and hey, it, it, it helps you from not dying. Alright, well, because you rolled well, and continue to roll well, on your ranged combat ability, I'm going to use this guy as a secondary uh, little flank guy that we could use. Uh, and even if we don't use him that way, still giving him javelins would not necessarily be a bad call. So that's what we're going to do. All right, well, that's the singular level up that we are able to get. Let's... I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of a cut here, and I'm going to do that save that I uh, mentioned. All right, I did my little bit of a save. Let's take a look at these contracts. So, two two skull contracts. Let's see what they are. Wilfred comes along with a small boy racing at his side. When they get to you, the pair talk at the same time. Stop and then start again. You hold your hand up and then point to the little boy who immediately says that Randolph the Wise wishes to see you. You then point to the battle brother, who says a local bitch has birthed puppies and maybe the curse could take one. Pursing your lips, you tell the boy to take you to his master who is found already waiting for you. 
A bird is perched on Randolph the Wise window. The man seated points at it. I wonder if that's how they got in. The brigands, I mean. I think they must have snuck through a window and then right back out. That's how they got away with my rare coin collection. The man slowly rises and stalks across the room. He crouches about ready to pounce on the bird, but the creature scatters before the man can so much as flinch. Damn. He returns to his seat, rubbing his hands as if he'd worked up a sweat during his attempt attempted avian ambush. My task is simple, Sellsword. Bring my property back to me, kill the brigands too, if you wouldn't mind. Okay, I mean, I'm fine with killing brigands. Let's talk back. He gesticulates his hands, pointing at his fingers as if counting. We've seen this description before. So 800 crowns. We need to be paid more for that. 870. All right. I accept your offer. We need to follow the tracks and all that stuff. Uh, accept the contract. All right. So. Is there anything we want to do in this town before we go do that? I mean, honestly, getting this town to like me would be nice because right now the prices suck really bad. Uh, we are currently at a neutral point, so there's that. I don't know how close it would be to get them to actually liking me. Uh, what is the name of this place? Uh, I think it's Earlstadt, right? Yeah, there they are. Uh, I'd say we're probably not likely going to get them open, at least not with this contract. Okay, well, we see the tracks going off this way. Let me take a look at my men real quick. So you've taken an injury. Pretty serious one. E yeah, you need to be replaced. So we're going to have uh, Dighthelm here replace Gerald. Okay. Do we have any equipment that we want to switch around or sell or anything? I mean, we've got a bunch of these open leather caps. We don't really need to keep those. We, we have weapons that we got from that last fight that we don't really need to keep like this. Uh, oh, we got a boar spear. That's good. That's an upgrade to our current weaponry somewhere. Go ahead and sell that. Don't need a cleaver. We have arming sword. I think I had that, though. I have a lot of shields on hand, but I probably don't need that many. We'll sell this. I'll sell one of these as well. We don't really need that many things on hand, and I'll sell that. Okay. I mean, we're doing pretty well financially speaking at this stage. Okay. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything else. I mean, you're injured. But I don't think it was too serious. We could replace him, just to be on the safe side. We'll see how long it takes us to track down these men, and then I may make that decision. Okay, let's get moving. Uh, it's going to be night. And there they are. Let's see what they are. So Brigand Thugs and Brigand Raiders, so it's kind of 50-50. There's only eight of them, so I think we can handle that. Problem is, they're going to put me on a merry chase for a little while here. Oop. Slow down a bit, but I honestly don't want to fight them at night, so... I don't necessarily want to catch them too quickly. I also don't want to starve, though, so let's get uh, going. Okay, it's going to be dawn soon, I think. Come on. Go get him. There we go. You catch a group of brigands uh, lugging your employer's property around. They seem shocked that you have found them here, and no time is wasted trying to parlay. They arm themselves, and you order the curse to charge to arms. So I'm hoping that guy healed and all the time that I spent chasing him down. Okay, let's go ahead and engage. We already kind of knew what their composition was. And yet again, we should be advantaged as far as having ranged combat. Ah, this is the first time I think we're seeing somebody armed with this weapon. He's a thug, too. Okay, just looking them over. I think I only see three Brigand Raiders. 
Oh no, that, that this guy counts. Well, I think we do the same strategy, and as a matter of fact, we can take advantage of some high ground, perhaps. So we're gonna back up and wait. We're gonna wait with the archer. Okay, that's about as close as they can get. A lot of their men have shields, so we're going to be in a similar situation to our last fight. All right, we'll go ahead and step back two paces. And end turn because I don't really see anything else you're going to be doing. Step back two spaces. Turn. Fortunately, it doesn't look like... Ah, I forgot to switch over to the javelins. Well, we can do that for a free action, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I don't think it's likely somebody will move into a spot that we can attack them, but we might as well hold for it, just in case. I was going to say, because that guy could move where uh, he just moved. Okay, we're going to move back two. And hold, see what happens. But I don't think we're going to be able to get to the high ground, unfortunately. Okay, you mostly healed up. Uh, you're not going to be doing anything else, so just end your turn. Okay, you're going to move to there. Turn. going to move back. Oh, I forgot to use the boar spear. Ah, that was an oversight. All right. Hold action. All right, sergeant. And then turn. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and do the spear rolls. Fire an arrow off. I'd actually prefer to hit this guy because I think he's the bigger threat out of the bunch. I said I'd prefer to hit him, not miss. There we go. That's something. What did we hit him with? Pierce leg muscle. Okay. Uh, and then turn. Now our javelin. We're going to be throwing at this guy. Hit. Okay. And we're going to spear roll. Spear roll. And we're going to do a spear roll. They haven't quite engaged me yet. And if they waste their turns doing that, I actually may be able to get the high ground. The question is, do I want to do that? I think so, because I think that's what they're trying to do. So I'm going to step to here and then just hold my action because I don't know what else is going to happen here. If they don't engage, then that makes it really easy on me on what I'm going to do. So here and hold. Uh, so everybody's going back one pace. That's the idea. This guy may be able to engage. We just have to see how, how that goes down. Uh, we're holding our action just in case. Okay, they held their action, so that's perfect. I'm going to move up, and then I'm going to hold my action. Yeah, so they were at, uh, attacked very aggressive, uh, very uh, conservatively is the word I'm trying to use there. We haven't reloaded yet, so we're going to move and then reload. All right, so everybody just needs to back up a bit. Um... You need to move to here. Then probably the easiest guy to hit is going to be the guy with the... Uh, right there. Good hit. And then turn safely. Oh, they tried to engage, but it didn't work for them. And spear wall and turn. Alright, so we got away with that one. And spear wall and turn. Spear wall and turn. And spear wall and turn. 
Excellent. All right, so they're not going to get here because they, they held back, and we already held our action. So this is that circumstance where us having better initiative doesn't actually go in our favor. All right, we do have our shot, though. Uh, I don't think this has range. Oh, actually, this is a good point, I think, to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.